Welcome back YouTubers to another video here on Rostec Automotive. Today we're going to be installing ISTA on our M1 MacBook Air. Um, this has been a highly requested video. A lot of persons have emailed me and, you know, been asking personally how to get this kind of thing done. So that's what this video here is going to cover today. So as it is right now, just going to get some prerequisite files installed. One of them being Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. It is highly important, can't stress how important it actually is to have this piece of software installed so that ISTA can run effectively, right? So I'm just going to have this installed and then go ahead and install some Windows features. And we're gonna fast forward and go from there. All right, so now that that is installed, we're gonna be going ahead and installing .NET Framework 2.0 and 3.5. And to do that, we're just gonna do that with Windows native feature installer. Um, it is, I won't say that it is essential, but if this is a machine that is also going to be set up to use uh, BMW standard tools and you may have other tools using alongside ISTA, this may come in, you know, rather beneficial and just for safety's sake, I like to do that. So we're gonna have that installed and I will fast forward a bit and you'll see when it's finished. All right, so now that all of that has been installed, just showing you here what shows up. There you go. So it's all installed and now we're gonna jump right into our install folder for ISTA 3. Point, well, 4.39.20. Uh, this installation will not cover how it is that the PSDZ data that is used for programming through ISTA is installed. This covers just the base installation um, of ISTA so that you can do your regular diagnostics, your troubleshooting, CBS data reset, um, your service functions and all of that kind of thing. So everything for ISTA will be shown here other than programming. That's it, right? So it's a pretty standard installation. There is nothing special to it. Uh, I chose Eddie Abbas instead of the local area network connection because the car that I'll be connecting to is going to be with KDK and cable. You don't have to change anything on that menu. Uh, it can be changed back in the settings after ISTA is completely installed. So it's just continually hitting next, 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 next. And that is that. So I'm also gonna leave you here, fast forward this to finish installing, and then we will open ISTA and show you what's what. All right, and that is that, it's finished. And just refresh your machine, and from there you open ISTA, and you are ready to go. Um, quite honestly, this is why I never created a video for this, because it is dead simple to install, dead easy. ISTA Plus is not complicated to get up and running. So, I mean, it's, very straightforward um, but as you'll see here you will go into the settings and you will see that everything is just laid out right in front of you if you are connecting through KDK you select any of us like I did 
if you are going to be connecting to enet or icom you select the lan option you know and that's it you can see all the dealer data the version information and that kind of thing so this concludes today's video about how it is that you set up ISTA on the M1, M2, MacBook Air and Pro. It's dead simple, dead easy, no issues, right? Um, the only other thing that you need to do is configure your KD can cable based on the COM port, which was shown back in BMW Standards Tool video. And that is that. So thanks for watching.